pleaded guilty to causing grievous bodily harm with intent. And that's North News tonight. The next update in Breakfast News, of course, tomorrow morning. John Ketley has the weather prospects next, but from all of us here for now, have a very good evening. Good evening to you. Well, fog and frost are going to be the dominant players now for the rest of tonight, with a large part of the country under clear skies. There are exceptions across the western north of Scotland. A much more cloud here, milder, a bit breezy, with the odd spot of rain coming through. And the extreme south of England into East Anglia also sees some thicker cloud with some patchy drizzle from time to time. But elsewhere, some freezing fog patches, dense freezing fog patches, 50 to 150 metres perhaps in some places for the second half of the night. And it's here where we've got the lowest temperatures too, a fairly widespread frost, 0 to minus 3 degrees in that large part of Britain. Well, of course, it's all due to that vast area of high pressure. That's declining slowly in the next couple of days as it slips away south eastwards, but even so, it does mean to say while it's there that we've got rather poor air quality from Northern Ireland across to Northern England and then southwards into the West Country and the London area. So quite nasty weather then first thing in the morning, especially across the north of England down into Wales and the Midlands. Here those dense patches of freezing fog, there come some slippery roads too, with temperatures in many areas down below freezing. Very gradually you'll find that fog thinning and breaking up, and eventually most places will see a little sunshine, though probably not as much as we saw today. And just here and there it is likely to linger, perhaps across the northwest Midlands up into Cheshire. Here perhaps the likeliest area for that fog to continue right the way through the afternoon. Up across Scotland, the far north in particular, still some spits and spots of rain coming through. But elsewhere, I think we are going to find some bursts of sunshine breaking through in many areas during the day. And temperatures will be very similar to how they've been today as well. But of course, the exceptions where it's foggy and maybe six degrees is pushing it a bit in those central parts of the country. A similar scene then for Thursday morning after the frost and the fog. We'll see some sunshine breaking through in most areas. Again, the far northeast of Scotland, though, we'll see a little bit of rain for a time, but it should begin to die out towards the end of the afternoon. Then eventually we'll see a breakthrough from the Atlantic on Friday. This system pushing up from the southwest will bring some rain eventually and maybe some sleet and snow for the higher ground, but amounts are going to be trivial. Elsewhere on the eastern side, still some fog around. Good night. This is your worst nightmare. One thing I promise you, you will never forget this course. No food. Make this the last lesson that you have to learn that way. No sleep. I am the tiredest man. Wherever. And no mercy. We're actually taking them to the very limits of their mental and physical capabilities. Surviving behind enemy lines, Inside Story gets into training in half an hour on BBC One. It's a bad dream, I think. It's not been nice. Explorer Benedict Allen faces tough terrain and danger on BBC Two now as he enters Lion Country on his expedition along the Skeleton Coast. In tomorrow's commoner's muck. It's a proper place, that garage. They don't even call them second half. They're called tree enjoy. There's plastic on the seats. You owe me now. I bought your debt. I've had a bit of a cash flow situation. I'd make sure your business is such a raging success that you become an indispensable part of the community. Blokes expect certain things when they come for a haircut. Mucky Max. No. Well, yes. The battle lines are drawn. Commoners Muck continues tomorrow at 9.30 on BBC One. Now on BBC One, it's harmless fun for all ages. <laughs>